Welcome back. I'm trying to complete every quest in old school RuneScape without the use of guides, plugins, or the wiki on an Iron Man. Oh yeah, and this is my first Iron Man. This is unguided. We rejoin the journey en route to the Legends quest. We've just completed Shiloh Village and now it's time to take on the Family Crest. Let's go. We start his quest in the southeast of Varrock, talking to Demintheus Fitzharmon. He tells us that although he's Varrockian aristocracy, he's been relegated to the slums and he's lost his family crest. That might sound drastic, but Varrockian regulation states that the family's crest also represents their lawful rights to the ownership of their wealth and lands. Without his, he's lost everything. He tells us that his crest was taken years ago by his three sons when they rode out to fight in a war against an undead necromancer to save Varrock. Demintheus assumed them all dead, but only recently heard word that one of his sons, Caleb, was alive and well, trying to earn his way as a great chef in the lands beyond White Wolf Mountain. Demintheus would like us to go and return his crest, by first finding Caleb. Right, so we just have to find Caleb. He was a great chef beyond White Wolf Mountain. That is all we have. I mean, I'm going to search some of these crates because they've got little logos on them. I fully thought that this quest was something to do with Falador for some reason. I don't know why. I think I might be getting confused with a different crest situation, like where you can find out your own crest or something and have some sort of vague memory of putting it on shields in, in construction. Um, is that not this? Is this completely separate? I brought a pickaxe because the quest uh, requirement, there was a, a mining requirement. So I've got that on me, but it just literally says we need to find his son, Caleb. He was a great chef beyond White Wolf Mountain. So I don't know what icon I could really look for, but somewhere beyond White Wolf Mountain, which makes me think around here. Perhaps we can just start off in Catherby and just walk kind of through here. I mean, there's some cooking ranges around here. I wonder if it's around here as well, because we have to do the Merlin's Crystal at some point, And I'm wondering if they're interlinked in some capacity. Maybe he's a chef that works in, in this castle. Maybe he's a chef that works here. I don't think he was, because I remember doing that quest. Let's start off in Catherby. Uh, no, that's a dwarf. Doesn't seem to be anyone in this kitchen here. Oh, I found him quite literally straight away. Here he is, with a little chef's hat on. In the first place I looked. Oh, Caleb. Are you Caleb Fitzharmon? How do you know my name? I've been sent by your father. He wishes the Fitzharmon crest to be restored. Yeah, I do have a piece of it. What happened to the rest of it? Well, my brothers and I had a slight disagreement about it. We all wanted to be the heir to my father's land, and we each ended up with a piece of the crest. That makes sense. None of us wanted to give up our rights to our brothers, so we didn't want to give up our piece of the crest, but none of us wanted to face our father by returning to him with an incomplete crest. We each went our separate ways many years past, none of us seeing our father or willing to give up our fragments. Okay, cool, so it sounds like the other two brothers might actually still be alive. Let's talk to him again and see if I can get the actual crest off him. So can I have your bit? I am the oldest son, so by the rule of chivalry, I am most entitled to be the rightful bearer of the crest. It's not really much use without the other fragments, is it though? That's true. Perhaps it's time I put my pride aside. I'll tell you what, I'm struggling to complete this fish salad of mine. If you'll assist me in my search for the ingredients and I'll let you take my piece as a reward for your assistance. He's going to give me his potential entire family inheritance just to help out with a fish salad. Fair enough. Right, what do you need? I require the following. Cooked swordfish, bass, tuna, salmon, and shrimp. Okay, I think I might have all of that in the bank, you know. Hopefully there was a list in my... Yeah, okay, cool. I've got a list in my uh, in my quest log. Uh, swordfish. We don't have a cooked one, but we can easily cook one. Bass. We have a cooked one. Tuna. Nice. What were the other ones? Um, a salmon, a shrimp. Salmon, we've got that. And a shrimp. Oh, raw shrimps. Perfect. We've got one raw shrimp. So we've got one raw shrimp as well. So if we cook this, which we should not burn because we are currently 70 cooking... Nice, cook shrimp, and then we'll just do one of these sawfish. There we go. Right, I think we've got everything. Wow, that was so easy. Right, let's go back to Caleb. This is where the fishing grind came in handy, just having a bunch of random fish in the bank. Here's all the fish. We exchange for the crest. Nice. Okay, what happens to the rest of it? So we know his brothers had a... Yeah, we know all this. Did he tell me anything about where the brothers are? Here we go. Do you know where I can find any of your brothers? We haven't really kept in touch. I did hear from my brother Avon a while ago, though. He said he was on some kind of search for treasure or gold or something out in the desert. Oh, for fuck's sake, we're not going out to the desert, are we? Avon did always have expensive taste, however. You may find he's not prepared to hand over his crest as easy as I have. Yeah, to be fair, mate, I'm surprised you hand it over as easily as you did. Don't seem like the cleverest bloke. Right, we got one piece, so we need to go to the desert now. We know he's on a search for gold, so potentially my mind is going to maybe the ruins of Uza again, just because maybe someone's knocking about there, kind of trying to search for um, gold or something like that. I mean, where else in the desert would you search for gold? I mean, anywhere, really, right? Something there. I think this is one of the camps. There's a mining spot here. There is a mining requirement for this quest. Perhaps it's down here or down here, but I don't really know. Let's go to the desert. I mean, I assume it's not going to be the north of the desert in terms of like Al Karid, right? Oh, it's a crash star. What level is it? Level 20. Let's grab. Oh, I've already got the pickaxe. What am I doing? Oh, let me get my mining outfit. I get more XP. This is weirdly enough the only crash star I've ever done before, and it's in exactly the same spot. Anyway, we'll be back once this is done. All right, this star's just about to run out. This person did call another one, but 
in all honesty, if I do go to that, then I'm never actually going to get this quest done, so I'm going to leave that. Cool, I'm going to buy some more desert robes because I lost my last ones when I had to dye them black. So let's buy that and let's head into the desert. Right, so I don't really know what I'm looking for, to be honest. Caleb told me his brother Avon is on a treasure hunt in the desert somewhere. I don't really know what I'd go for on a treasure hunt, to be honest. He's on a treasure hunt. So I might check out the ruins first because I can get there really quickly by the magic carpet. You might be looking around some ruins for treasure, right? That makes sense. And then probably maybe some of these mining spots after. But I'm going to start with the ruins. Let's go over there. Right, we've arrived. Anyone around here? Gollum. Yes, the boy. He's back. Right, I don't think he's around here. I think he would be here. Actually, did, did we see someone called Avon to the south here when we were checking out this camp? I mean, I remember I went here twice looking for people and there was a guy down here that was just kind of chilling out. Was that him? I can't remember his name at all. But I mean, we're right here, so let's check it out. This guy is Ali. That's not him. He's a tea seller. These guys all live here. Elias. No, it's not him. Okay, cool. Right, so no Avon over here. I think I want to try this sort of place. There's like a camp around here, I believe. Or maybe he'd be in one of the cities, to be honest. Let's go south to Narda. We can just go kind of right. We can kind of go east to west, perhaps. Maybe not covering the entire desert because I really don't know where I'd go, but there's a mining site here. I'm kind of thinking these points of interest, like cities, mining sites, camps. If he's just in the middle of nowhere, then that's going to be difficult for me to find him. But let's just run down here. Right, here we go. We've we got anyone around here? Got gas law, some sort of key, bunch of guards, quite a few NPCs around here. Artemis, no, Meskenet, doesn't seem like it. There's a couple of people around here. These guys are like they might be searching for something. Burnt off, Chekel. Oh wait, Marley, Willow. These are the people that I met ages ago. These are the ones from that quest. They tried to kill me, I swear. I'll talk to Willow. Yeah, this is where you scampered off after the monster awoke. Look, it's a simple misunderstanding, that's all. You threatened to kill me with a simple misunderstanding. Things got a little heated down there, but we all made it out alive, right? I had to defeat that monster on my own. What are you doing out here anyway? We thought you'd rat us out to the authorities, so we came here to hide. Plus, we heard there are some sealed tombs in the desert that haven't been touched in hundreds of years. Yeah, sc scoping out your next grave to rob. Right, that's so funny. I wonder what they're doing. They must be part of a quest. That's pretty cool. Anyway, that is not why we're here. Looking for someone called Avan, who I don't think seems to be here right now. Okay, right, I don't think he's here. Let's try and see if we can get the carpet to Polnivich. Yeah, we can. Right, let's head over there. There's a fissure in the floor. That's something I should have probably checked out, that crack in the floor. Right, anyone around here? These are all those uh, bugs that you can pickpocket. Everyone's called Ali around here. Why is everyone called Ali? Doesn't seem like there's anyone here called Avan. That house on the hill seems to just have that guy out the front. Okay, from here, I think I'm gonna check out this camp because I can't see him in this city. Whilst on the carpet, I am kind of keeping an eye out, seeing if I see anyone just walking around, but so far I haven't. I think it's better being camp, isn't it? Because it's not Uza or Polnavich. Nomad Fighter. Asgarnia Smith. No, it doesn't look like there's anyone around here. It's just a bunch of nomads. Let's talk to Asgarnia Smith. He looks a bit like an explorer, so... Nope, can't even talk to him. Right, okay, cool. Where to next? South, I guess. To this place? Yeah. Right, what have we got here? Bandits, bandits, just a bunch of bandits, I think. Oh, who's that? Eblis. That's a person. Nope, he doesn't say anything to me. Okay, doesn't seem like anything going on here. I'm going to talk to the bartender. Maybe he might have seen someone coming through here. I have nothing to say to the likes of you. Right, okay, maybe not. All right, on to the next place. Probably down here, the mining area. And then down to this little spot, which is, I don't know. Oh, is that Tempros? Oh, that's the Tempros place, I didn't realize. Okay, so he won't be there. But there's a mining spot here. Let's try this out. Oh, there's another ruins, actually. Ruins of Ulek. Maybe he's around here somewhere. I hadn't seen this before. Who's this? Lazim. Anyone in this mine? No, doesn't look like there's anything around here. Um, I think we go to... Uh, let's walk this way, I think. Let's walk this way across here. We'll check in this fissure. Maybe this dungeon entrance over here. And then down to the ruins of Ulek. I feel like, is this the pyramid from Desert Treasure? It might be. I mean, maybe one of these bandits can... I can talk to them and they might tell me they've seen some someone walking through here. It was a bit of a reach. Get out of this village, you're not welcome here. Okay, right, let's go down to the fissure over here. Maybe the pyramid, actually. There's treasure in that, isn't there? Maybe that might be it. Wingstone. Is that a gnome? Here's a little gnome. Come here. Bit hot and dry around here for a gnome, isn't it? Thought you liked your home comforts. Certainly, I miss my home cooking. But gnomes are also fundamentally curious people. I'm here exploring the furthest reach of the world for the king. 
found anything interesting. Sophenham is a curious place. If you can get into the Blight Place, there are several pyramids around here as well. Fascinating architecture. I've heard stories that some of them contain treasure, tombs, and mummies. Ooh, so maybe they're maybe he's near a pyramid because this guy's saying that some of them contain treasure, tombs, and mummies. That's quite cool. So this guy, I think, is the equivalent of that dude that I found in the jungle. So the Gnome King just has a bunch of little gnomes just walking around exploring the world, which I think is just incredible. I think the gnome people are definitely my favourite. I spent the next few minutes walking down to the pyramid to see if he was anywhere around there, and then down to the other ruins I'd noticed on the map. What's this? What the hell? I did not know you could just get glasses in this game. It comes with a little moustache as well. That's pretty cool. After finding these neat specs, I walked around the ruins until coming to the conclusion that I just had to be in the wrong place. Where on earth would this person be then, if he's searching for treasure? I didn't check this place out. Maybe I should check this place out. Let's go back there, because actually that maybe makes sense. But I think that's for another quest. I vaguely remember this. Isn't this the one where you get caught in prison or something? That rings a bell. I'm going to go back to al Karid and start off from the beginning again, because I don't think I'm meant to go that, that far south. There's no chance that actually maybe it's not the desert desert, but it's just al Karid, is it? Where would they be around here if they were? Maybe in the mining section? Maybe we should check out the mining section up here quickly, before we spend too much time going south. Anyone here? Man. There is a guy called Man. Man, is that him? I mean, his name would definitely not be Man, but he's busy apparently. Right, like, doesn't seem like there's anyone here. No. All right, that is not the right place. It's fair to say editing me here is genuinely fuming for previous me at this point. If you're not familiar with this quest, you'll see why further into the video. I think we go back into the real desert because I don't know of anyone around here called Avan. And I feel like if you're looking for treasure, you're not going to be just standing in the Alcarid, are you? There's a woman here that's crying by the gate. I'm going to talk to her. I think that starts a different quest, but I may as well try. No, this is starting a different quest. Anna. Yeah, no, that's not it. Okay, let's head to this area. I think it's the cow fight queen entrance, isn't it? Weird old man. Don't think that's going to be him, but we can talk to him anyway. That's all he says. No, cool. He doesn't give me anything. All right, let's go down to this place that is in the middle. I don't think it's going to be around here, but let's have a little peek. Anyone? No, these are all mercenaries. Minecart, female slave. Okay, where else do I look? I've looked here, here, Uza, this city, this area. I haven't been inside Polnavich, but I don't think I can get into Polnavich, can I? I'll soften them, not Polnavich, but I'm pretty sure that needs a different quest. And there's no other pyramid. I've kind of walked the majority of the desert, to be honest. Maybe the Shanty Pass guy could tell me or something like that. I haven't checked up here with the where the Phoenix was. Go back there. Let's do that, let's walk this way up. I haven't really checked this south bit. Go across the bridge and go to the phoenix feather as well. Unless he's in this this prison, but I can't see anyone. I don't know how to get in there. I, think, I feel like that's a different quest as well. Anyone around here? There's a cave there that I didn't see last time. Let's enter this cave. What is this place? Pushing a little boulder. There's some eggs down there and then a, an exit up here. I don't really know where I'm going. Oh, it's an eagle nest. Oh my god, it's an eagle nest. Get out of here. Right, not where we want to be. I then spent the next 15 minutes checking out the tiniest little places I thought I'd missed the first time around. Also debating on the prison area in the middle of the desert. I checked out the gates of Sophenem, a pyramid I was convinced was part of desert treasure, Menaphos, Temporos, and quite literally walking to the edge of the map, all with no luck. Finally deciding to head back to al and search a tiny bit of land I thought I'd missed. Alright, well let's go back to al fill up our water, and then I guess we just walk around again because I haven't really got a clue what else to do. I'm pretty sure I've walked everywhere now, other than this tiny little bit here, right outside the gate. I mean, it could be there. I don't know where else to go, to be honest. I mean, I should really check every house in al Karid first. Let's just do that real quick. I'm pretty sure I've seen most of them. Yeah, that's the crafting shop. What's this place? The Giant's Plateau. I feel like this is a new area as well, but I don't know what this is. It seems to be some sort of a uh, church or something. This looks like some sort of ruin. Could have someone treasure hunting around here. Looks like an old monastery. Doesn't there's anyone here? We can get our prayer back up though. Yeah, there's no one here though. Unless he's upstairs. It'd be very strange. No, no one's here. I have a feeling that this place is new because I don't remember it existing. Might as well quickly check it out though. Well, let's go back down to our career, I think. No, there's just no one. Who would know? Would anyone around here know? Maybe if someone passing through Osman? No, anything I can help you with. There is one thing you could do for me. What would that be? Give me some squirk juice. What the fuck is that? Oh, is that squirking? I've seen people talking about squirking. I'm not doing that though. I think it's a mini game. What about the prince? He wouldn't know about someone randomly just walking through here, would he? He does owe me a favour though. I play saved him. No, he doesn't talk to me. No, nope, he doesn't say anything. Understandably so, he can't keep an eye on everyone that goes through here. I then basically end up walking around the desert again for the next half an hour. Yep, 
So far, I've genuinely been searching for this guy for over an hour, probably around an hour and a half at this point. I spent a bit more time outside this mining prison trying to see if I could get in, suspecting he might be inside, all to no luck. I quite literally end up almost searching everywhere for a second time, talking to more people, trying to find any tile I'd not yet covered. This was a horrible experience. I headed back into Alcarid, checked out the PvP arena too. I felt like at this point, if I hadn't found him, he didn't exist. And well, I sort of wasn't wrong. Again, if you haven't got prior knowledge about this quest, you'll see what I mean by that further into the video. I need to go back to the guy, I need to go back to the brother and talk to him. Or maybe the dad, maybe the dad can tell me. Although he only knew of one. So I can go back to him and say, here, look, I've got this one. Any idea where your other sons might be? Let's go back to the brother first, just in case he has anything else he can tell me. And then we'll try the dad. Right, right, right. Where are you, mate? Oh, he's in, he's in this kitchen now. Where did you say I could find Avon again? Last I heard, he was on some stupid treasure hunt out in the desert somewhere. Your best bet is asking around there. How are you doing getting on the crest pieces? I'm still working on it. And why are you wasting your time here? Because I can't fucking find him, mate. Oh my god. Ask he said asking around there. Your best bet is asking around there. Is there some sort of quest called treasure hunt or something? Oh, where would he be? A treasure hunt out in the desert somewhere. Am I just being really dense or have I just not found people going on an expedition? I'm pretty sure I've searched everywhere. That's the bandit camp. That's Bellabin camp. Checked out Uza. Checked out this place. Polnovich didn't have him. Nada. This area didn't have him. The pyramid, you can't go in there. The only place I haven't been is Sofenem, but I can't get into that place. I'm lost. I'm completely lost on what to do here. Treasure hunt in the desert. Who would I ask even get more information about that? If you could just, if you just walked into the desert and there'd be like a couple of them, it'd be so helpful. Just like someone standing there being like, oh yeah, I got lost from the group and the rest of them have gone this way. There's no other exclamation marks, I think. I've only been down. I mean, I haven't gone into the cow fight queen lair. Maybe I should go in there. Maybe I should do that. Maybe they got lost, went the wrong way. Yeah, I should give that a go, at least. Before we go back to the desert, I'm going to just quickly talk to the dad. Any news on my crest yet? I'm still looking for it. And that is the end of that conversation. Right, you are useless as well. Oh, fucking hell. Right, let's go back to the desert then. And so once again, we venture off into the desert with nothing more than the slightest bit of hope we might somehow stumble across this elusive man. 15 minutes later, nothing. In defeat, I return back to the mining prison camp I theorised about. I still couldn't confirm he wasn't in here, so I had to find a way in. Right, let's talk to the mercenary captain. Move along now. Right, what if I watch him? What does that mean? You watch the mercenary captain for some time. He has a large metal key attached to his belt. You notice that he usually gets his men to do his dirty work. That is it. Can I search the gate? You see what looks like a mining compound. There seems to be some people mining rocks. It looks as if they're chained to the rocks and the people being watched over by guards is not a very happy place. Oh, here we go. You notice that the people are thoroughly searched as they enter and leave the compound and people wielding weapons or wearing armor are treated quite severely. Ah, maybe I can get into this place if I take off my weapons and armor. Right, let's go back to the bank real quick and just see if we can walk into this place. I think my desert robes don't count as armor, so I'll pop those on. I'm gonna go and bank everything else and see if I can just walk into this place. There's some footsteps here. What's this? Oh my god, is this something to do with... Look at the footprints. Search footprints. You see some footprints in the sand. What's this? Is this to do with the quest I'm doing? Maybe it is. I completely missed this. I haven't seen this before. Have these been here the whole time? Are they, they lead into the prison camp? Or is that because I searched the guard? Or I watched the guard? Okay, I don't know what that is, but maybe that is some sort of a hint for my quest? Is there an update? No, there's nothing in, in the log that's changed. Have these been here the whole time? I have no idea. Right, I'm still going to bank my stuff and see if I can get into this prison. Right, let's see if we can get into this place. Right, let's see if we can just open the gate. You need a key to open the gate. Right, how do I get the key then? He has a large metal key attached to his belt. You notice that he usually gets his men to do his dirty work. What are you guarding? Get lost. Right, perhaps five gold coins will sweeten your mood. Okay, maybe we need some money. Sounds like we can bribe them potentially. Uh, I'm currently getting bundled into a cart. Right, okay, where are we? Right, let's go back and get some money. Okay, we've got some money. Let's head back and see if uh, anything changes. Right, let's talk to the mercenary again. Perhaps five gold coins will sweeten your mood. Well, it will certainly help. The guard takes five gold coins. Now then, what did you want to know? What are you guarding? But he just said the same thing. How much time? How many times do I have to pay him? Is he going to say, yeah, chop off your head? So it doesn't seem like I'm actually sweetening his mood at all. He's just taking my money and nothing's changing. No. What is this place? Is that going to, it's none of your business now, get lost. The guard takes five gold coins. Now then, what did you want to know? What is this place? Oh, here we go. It's just a mining camp. Prisoners are sent here from al -Karid. They serve out their sentence by mining. Most prisoners will end their days here surrounded by desert. Can I take a look around the place? Not really. The captain won't let you in the compound. He's the only one that has the key to the gate, and if you talk to him, he'll probably just order us to kill you. Unless... Unless what? Unless he has a use for you. He's been trying to track someone down called al Zabab Basim. You could offer to catch him, and that might put you in his good books. Okay, where could I find him? He could be anywhere. He's a nomadic desert dweller. However, they say he's frequently to be found to the west in the hospitality of the 10th 
Tenties. Who are they? Oh, that's the Bedabin people, because that's what he said people call them Tenties. Okay, thanks, right. I'm dying from the desert heat. I think I have to catch this guy first. Is this going to change the quest log? No, it's not changed the quest log, which makes me think I'm not doing the right thing. I'm going to go over here and see if I can capture this guy anyway. He should be around here somewhere. His name was Al Zabib something. These are the Tenties, I'm pretty convinced of it. Here we go. I'm looking for Al Zababasim. You've been talking to the guards at the mining camp, or worse, that cowardly mercenary captain. Al Zabib Basim does not exist. He's a figment of their imagination. Go back and tell this captain that if he wants to find this man, he should search for him personally. Right, okay, cool. Let's go back and talk, tell, tell him that then if we can right where are you mercenary captain i can't talk i can't actually talk to him what if i talk to one of the mercenaries again no he can't tell me either he just he doesn't remember remember the conversation i had oh here we go we think he's not exactly as brave as he makes out but he has we have to follow orders if someone called him a coward or managed to trick him into a one-on-one -on -one duel many of us bet he'd be beaten how could i trick him into a one-on-one -on -one duel like all cowards he likes to be made to feel important if anyone insults him outright he just gets us to do his dirty work however if he thinks he's better than you if you compliment him he may feel he can defeat you if he initiated a duel all men agree that they wouldn't intervene can I have a bet on that? If you think you stand a chance, sure. But remember, if he gives us an order, we have to obey. Okay, I'll bet 20 gold that I win. Great, I'll take that bet. I need to compliment the guard somehow. Don't know how to do that because he just tells me to fuck off every time. Yeah, I can't actually tell him anything. I can't talk to the guy. What if I attack him? No, I don't want to just outright attack him. I'm going to try and attack him. Yeah, it's not worked. I can't even compliment him. I can't get into a conversation with him. Maybe I can use some gold on him to give him money or something? No, nothing happens. I think I'm doing the wrong quest, man. I think it's... I think this is the one that's related to the woman crying at the gate. Tourist trap. Watch this. Inspect cactus. You see that this cactus seems to have impaled a rather innocent looking red scarf. What does that mean? What can I use that information for? Is there any more like that? I think this is to do with that woman's daughter. At this point, I think I might have to start a tourist trap because I don't understand where else this person could be. I mean, if that's true and he is in there and you need to start a tourist trap to get in there, then this is probably the worst design quest I've done so far because there's nothing telling me I need to do this. There's no link at all. You just have to guess. I don't even know if the tourist trap is the right one. I'm kind of guessing at this point. I have nothing else to go on. I'm trying to remember, but I just can't. And if you didn't have any memory, then you'd be completely fucked. I'm going to give it a go because, I mean, what else is there to lose? Really nothing. So yeah, I guess we're starting the tourist trap quest. We start this quest by talking to Irina just outside the Shanty Pass. Her daughter Anna went into the desert and hasn't returned. She'd like us to help find her. She tells us that the footprints we found in the desert earlier did in fact belong to Anna and therefore most likely don't have anything to do with the family crest quest. To find Anna, we should start by following the footprints to the desert mining camp. Yeah, cool. This is footprints for Anna and we think that she's gone to the desert mining camp. Let's inspect this cactus if it has anything to do with it. Yeah, here we go. You remember that Arena mentioned something about Anna wearing a red scarf before she left for the desert. So all of this stuff that I thought might have been relevant is just not related to the family crest quest at all. So let's talk to one of these mercenaries now. I'm looking for a woman called Anna. Have you seen her? No, now get lost. Perhaps five coins will help you remember. Well, it certainly will help. We get a lot of people in here, but not many women though. Saw one come in last week, but I don't know if it's the woman you're looking for. Right, I've already had these conversations, but I think I need to have them again, most likely. That person is dying. So how do I talk to him? I mean, he's getting killed at the moment, so maybe I need to change world. Oh, that person had to teleport. Let's talk to this guy and see if we can... Uh... Okay, now it seems like we can talk to him. You approach the mercenary captain. Wow, a real captain. I need to give him a compliment. You're not wanted around here. I'd love to work for a tough guy like you. Oh yeah, what can you do? Can't I do something for a strong captain like you? The captain ponders a moment and then looks at you critically. You could bring me the head of Al Zaba Basim. Yeah, we know about that. Um... I don't think I can do that. I did consider that you might not be right for the job. Be off with you before I turn my men loose on you. Um, should I say it's funny, a captain who can't fight his own battles? Yeah, may I mean, maybe that'll work. The men around you fall silent. The captain silently fumes. All eyes turn to the captain. Very well, if you're challenging me, let's get on with it. Okay, we're fighting him. Uh, pray melee. I have no weapon, but he's almost dead from the other fight. Does this count if I kill him? I just killed him in two hits. <laughs> Right, okay. Well, thank you to that person that came along and just did half the job. The mercenary captain drops a metal key to the floor. You very quickly grab it and add it to your in inventory. Wow. Well, thank you to that person in Mithril who just came and did that because I just killed him in two punches. Right, now we've got the metal key. We can actually get into this place. Okay, I'm in. Right, this is the moment of truth. Is... What the fuck is his name again? Is Avon here? Is he? Anyone? Avon? Mate? please oh my god i don't think he's here captain siad no no he's not here oh my god he's actually not here i mean let's see if uh if this anna person's here oh they're interesting clothes you're no slave oh i need slave clothes oh my god I'm getting attacked the guards search you you're roughed up by the guards and manhandled into a cell right i need some slave clothes apparently don't know where to get those from door seems pretty locked oh, i can bend the cell window though 
and I can escape out the back. Where will I get slave clothes from? There was a chest upstairs. What's going on? I can't get out of here. I have to go up this way? Oh, I do have to climb this rock here. Right, let's see if we can go back in here. Um, I don't know where to get the slave clothes from, but there was a chest upstairs. I mean, maybe these crates have them in? Here, look, there's a chest here. What if I search this one? Oh, um, all the slaves are broken free. The captain seems distracted. Oh, okay, if I, you need, a, is it this chest key? No, different chest key. Okay, I can't seem to get any clothes from that chest. I don't know what's going on there. I'm gonna search these bookcases real quick, see if I can get a key. Several books on the subject of sailing. Interesting. Right, so I don't actually know where to get slave clothes from. Let's try and go down this area here or watch watch the mine door entry. I'm getting attacked. You notice that only slaves seem to go down here. You might have to sneak down if you pass as a slave. How do I pass as a slave? Let's try and talk to one of these people to see if they can give me their outfit. I've just arrived. I'm making a break for it today. I have a plan to get out of here. I have all the detail figured out except for one. What's that then? These bracelets. I can't seem to get them off. If I could get them off, I'd be able to climb my way out of here. I could try and undo them for you. I suppose you want something for doing this. The last time I did a trade in this place, I nearly lost a shirt from my back. It's funny you should say that. If I get the chains off, I want your clothes. Yeah, here we go. I can dress like a slave and gain access to the mine area and scout it out. What would I wear? Get me some nice desert clothes and I'll think about it. Yeah, go on, I can give you my clothes. You use some nearby bits of wood and wire to try and pick the lock. You hear a satisfying click as you tumble the lock mechanism. Great, here's the clothes, I won't need them anymore. Yeah, perfect. Well, that was convenient. Right, now I'm a slave. Spot on. Right, let's go down the door. Nice, we're down here. Right, Avon, are you here? Please, please be here, man. What is this whole place? I can't even find Anna. Can I go through this bit? Move away from there. No, I can't go through that bit. Right, let's talk to one of these people and see if they can tell me about Anna. Nope. Oh, I've just attacked someone. I did not mean to do that. I can't seem to see Anna anywhere. I think I should head deeper into the mine and look for Anna. Okay. Deeper where though? This way, I suppose. But I can't get through that, that bit. Can I talk to the guard? I like to mine in a different area. Well, I can understand that. Change is as good as a rest, they say. Yes, sir, you're quite right. What well, I wouldn't give for some whole, fresh, ripe, juicy pineapple for a change. And those tenties have the best pineapple in this entire area. Okay, so we have to get him a pineapple. Also, I know that you slaves trade your items down here. I'm sure that if you're resourceful enough, you'll come up with the goods. I need to get a pineapple, and I need to get him the tenty pineapple. I don't know how to get the, the pineapple. He says something about trading the slaves, but none of them will talk to me. I don't think I'm doing the right thing, you know. I'm doing this quest purely to get back to a Avon, but I just don't think that he's in here. You can just walk through the gates. What? Surely they would not let me leave because I'm meant to be a slave. That's bizarre. <sighs> I'm gonna head over these tenty people to the Bedouin camp and see if I can get a pineapple, but I just feel like I'm lost here. I think I'm doing the wrong, I'm, I'm just not, I don't think this quest has anything to do with the quest that I'm meant to be doing. I just have absolutely no idea where I can find this fucking guy. Oh, by the way, I've now been at this for about two hours, so yeah, this is ridiculous really. I've got no hints at all other than just there's a guy in the desert looking for treasure. Where can I get a tenty pineapple? We must go and talk to our very illustrious leader, Al Shabim. Right, okay, cool. We know that we've already done this, we've already had this conversation. I'm looking for a pineapple. I'll give you one if you do me a favour. Okay. Captain Seard at the mining camp is holding some secret information. It's very important to us and we would like you to get it for us. It gives details on an interesting yet ancient weapon. We'd gladly share this information with you. All you have to do is gain access to his room, his private room upstairs. We have a key for the chest that contains this information. Okay, cool, yeah. Yeah, I'm interested. Here's a copy of the key that should give you access to the chest. This is the guy that I distracted by asking him to look out the window, so I don't know if I'm going to get searched trying to enter the camp with this key on me. I would be surprised if I can just walk through, but I'll give it a go. Oh, I can. That makes no sense, but let's go. Right, so I think I know how to get this guy distracted. Last time I said all the slaves were escaping and that seemed to work, so I'm gonna try that again. All the slaves are broken free. Oh, that didn't work this time. The warning siren isn't sounding. Now state your business before I have you thrown out. So you're interested in sailing? The captain interest seems to perk up. So I knew that because I searched the bookcase over here and it had the book about sailing. Been a passion of mine for some years. I could tell by the cut of your jib. The captain looks flattered. The captain starts rambling on about his days as a salty sea dog. He looks quite distracted. Oh, perfect, right. Now let's use this key on this chest. While the captain's distracted, you quickly unlock the chest with the Bedouin's copy of the key. You take out the plans. Right, I've got the plans. Let me get out of here. What are these things anyway? Look very technical, but you can see that this item will require a bronze bar and at least 10 feathers. Do I have to make it? I mean, I haven't been asked to make it. I've just been asked to get the plan so far. So I'm going to just give them back and then see if I actually do need to go and make it. Oh, is this the plans to make darts? I have a feeling that's what this quest unlocks, doesn't it? Is it darts or is it like claws? I can't remember. I know there's one quest where you, you unlock a new weapon that you can make. I see you have the plans. This is great. However, my plans do indeed look very technical. My people have further need of your skills. If you can help us manufacture this item, we'll share a secret with you. Does this deal interest you? Yes. Go on then. Right, we need the following items. A bar of pure bronze, 10 feathers and a hammer. Okay, cool. Right, let's grab a bronze bar. 
I don't have any. Fuck. Grab a pickaxe. Uh, and then we need feathers as well. Ten feathers. I think that was everything, right? Yeah, that was everything, right? Let's go to the rock real quick to get some copper and some tin. All right, we've got the copper and the tin. Let's head over to... Oh, I should have brought my dueling ring. Okay, let's go to Falador real quick. We'll use the furnace here, make the bronze bar. Now, let's head back to Alcarid. I wasn't recording. I wasn't fucking recording, but I just spoke to this silk trader and I just saw this fucking chat box. I'm in search of a man named Avon Fitzharmon. What the fuck? Why him out of everyone? Oh my God, he was right here the whole time. I'm in search for a man named Avon Fitzharmon. Honestly, the noise I made when I saw this the first time, I'm so fucking pissed I wasn't recording that. Can't say I've seen him. I'm sure if he's been to Alcarid recently, somewhere around here will have though. Right, so I need to talk to people in Alcarid, not in the fucking desert bit that I was walking around. Right, let's talk to the gem trader. I'm in search for a man named Avon. I'm an idiot. Why did I talk to the fucking prince i talked to the chancellor but it's just these people oh, i'm so annoyed i've started a completely separate quest thinking i needed to do that instead oh my god i just could have come here and just spoken to these people look at me look at the way i'm dressed fucking hell i'm in search of a man named avon fitzharmon you know i have seen someone of that persuasion around here recently wearing a poncy yellow cape he was he came in ill lardy dying high and mighty asking for jewelry made from perfect gold whatever that is i told him to head to the desert because i know there's gold out there in them their sand dunes and if it's not up to his lordship's high standard of gold perfection maybe we'll all get lucky and the scorpions will deal with him has that updated the quest log the alcarid gem trader told me that avon is wearing a yellow cape and headed into the desert by the scorpions it has it fucking has wait is it scorpions up north because there's scorpions i know there's scorpions up north but i assume he means south i'm gonna go north first because i actually know there's scorpions up there did i not come up here though if he's just standing here that is him this is him, right? He's wearing a yellow cape. I'm looking for a man named Avon Fitzharmon. Then you found him. My name is... Did I talk to him last time? Oh my God, did I talk to him? I need to go back and watch that footage because I'm so confused at why... What happened the last time I found this guy? Oh, let me... Let me... I need to... I need to know. I need to know if I spoke to this guy. Anyone here? Man. There is a guy called Man. Is that him? I mean, his name would definitely not be Man, but... He's busy, apparently. Right, doesn't seem like there's anyone here. No. All right. That is not the right place. Oh my He's God. I literally right, did speak to him. When you talk to him and you haven't spoken to the gem trader, he just has a different chat option just saying, can't you see I'm busy? Who thought of that? Why? I found him. He doesn't know that I've spoken to the gem trader. I could have just gone up to him. Why is he now not busy? Oh, this game does my nut in sometimes. I'll be the first to admit that 99% of the grinds or challenges in this series will be due to my own inability to find something or knowledge of the game. But this, to me, this is just poor game design. Can anyone please explain to me why on earth they would purposefully lock his dialogue so that you first have to talk to some random NPC? In fact, not only do they lock his dialogue, they also change his name. He's just man. So far in my journey, that's not true of any other NPC in the game. You walk past someone, it doesn't matter if you've met them before, you know their name by right-clicking them. It's just how the game works. Why is this one guy different? I found him through my own discovery, but for whatever reason, this time round, that's punished. It's worth noting, in the quest log, all we're told is that he's out treasure hunting in the desert. Nothing in there about talking to people. Caleb, though, did mention talking to people, hence why I went to the prince and the chancellor. But how many people had this dialogue option? Was it just the merchant and the gem trader? I have absolutely no idea. Look, I'm well up for being proved wrong here and looking like a fool, so please do let me know if there's something obvious as to why this choice was made and let me know in the comments down below. I think I'd genuinely be happier if there was one, to be honest. But anyway, I just had to vent this frustration. Ran over, let's get on with the video. Okay, look, you know what? I found him. That's all that matters, I found him. I'm still fuming, but I found him, right? Sack off Anna, she can rot in the desert. We're completing the family crest quest. My name is Avon Fitzharmon. You have a part of your family crest. I'm on a quest to retrieve all the fragmented pieces and restore the crest. I suppose one of my worthless brothers has sent you on this quest then? No, it was your father. My father wishes this. That's a different matter. I'll let you have the crest shard adventurer, but you must first do something for me. There's a certain lady I'm trying to impress. As a man of noble birth, I cannot give her just any old trinket to show my devotion. What I intend to give her is a golden ring and a necklace to match this ring. Not just any gold will be suitable. I only seek the purest and most high quality of gold. What I seek, if you will, is perfect gold. None of the gold around here is remotely suitable in terms of quality. I've searched far and wide for 
the perfect gold as I have. I've had no success so far. If you can find me my perfect gold, make a ring and a necklace from it, and add rubies to them, I'll gladly hand over my fragment of the family crest to you. Right, yeah, how do I find this perfect gold? I thought I had found a solid lead in its whereabouts when I heard of a dwarf who's an expert on gold who goes by the name of Boot. Unfortunately, he's apparently returned to his home, somewhere in the mountains, and I have no idea how to find him. Well, I'll see what I can do. Oh my god, after finding one person, I need to find another person. I should find a dwarf named Boot who lives somewhere in the mountains and knows where to find perfect gold. In the mountains, is that, I mean, it has to be the dwarven mountains, right? Or the dwarven mines? Does that count as a mountain, this bit? I assume so. Okay, right, we found Avon, and now he's just changed his name. This fucking prick. Right, tourist trap is going on hold. We're completing this quest first. Let's find this dwarf. What other mountains could it be? I think the only mountains it could be is the dwarf and mine mountains, unless he means... Oh, maybe it could be underneath White Wolf Mountain, because there's dwarves that live there, obviously, as well. Off the top of my head, is there someone called Boot there? I can't quite remember. Maybe there was. Was it the drunk guy? Okay, let's quickly check White Wolf Mountain, because I think that'd be quicker to get to, and the uh, little dwarven pass underneath it. And then if not, we'll go to the ice mountain and go to the dwarven mines. I think that makes sense. I should have brought my pickaxe. Is there anyone called Boot down here? There's a drunk guy over here. No, that's the cart conductor. Rohak, Dwarf, Dwarf, Horvak. No, it doesn't look like there is actually someone here. So I think it's probably the Dwarven Mines. Right, let's go to Falador. All right, is there anyone called Boot here? It doesn't look like it. No, it doesn't look like there's anyone here. Right, let's go downstairs and see if there's anyone in the mines. Oh, Boot, I found him. All right, let's talk to him. I'm in search of very high quality gold. Well, the very best quality gold that I know of is just east of the large city of Ardone, underground somewhere. I don't believe it's exactly easy to get to though. Right, east of the city of Ardone. This place, perhaps this dungeon here? It must be east of it, and he says underground, so off to Ardy we go. I've no idea what he meant about it being hard to get to, but is that it there? Old ruin entrance, maybe it's that. Anything here? Oh, there it is, is that it? Must be that, right? There's lots of gold in here. There's a hellhound. Do not remember ever coming down here. The door is locked. Nothing can ever be that easy, can it? There seems to be some sort of levers here. That door is locked. And so is that door. Right. I wonder if it's some sort of lever puzzle. Is this door going to be locked as well? Yeah, that's locked. Right, let's pull this lever. The lever is now up. And we can't go in that one, but maybe one of these doors is now unlocked. I mean, let's check the main door, just see if it's a simple single lever. Nope. Right, any of these doors unlocked? Yeah, cool. Right, that one is unlocked. What about this one? No. Yeah, that one's still locked. Right, let's pull this one up. This one's now locked. I can get out of that one though. I need to search these crates probably just to be safe. Right, so now this lever is up. Let's see if we can get back to the other place. Um, no, it's locked, so we need to probably pull this one down. And now can we go in? Yeah, we can. Um, before we do that, we should probably check that this isn't open, because now it's just the one inside here that's open, and that might mean that this is unlocked. No, probably just pull that lever up, and hopefully that's that will unlock this door. There we go. Right, that's now up. And is this going to be unlocked? No, it's still locked. Right, okay. So I think we might need to turn this one down so that only the one inside that building is up. But I think both of these are going to be locked now, right? Oh, no, it's not. Let's try this one down. Oh, I'm locked in. I can't get out. That can't be right. Perhaps now we need to pull that one up. Yeah, that makes sense. So we put this one up, which will allow us to get through this door, I think, if I remember correctly. Then we can turn that one down, come back through that door that's unlocked, put that one down, and then only this one in this room is up. That makes sense. Up. What if I do this now? Can I get out of here? Yeah, I can. Right, this in theory, hopefully this is now unlocked. Please. Yeah, we're in. Right, let's get some gold. Let's try and get this one because this guy is nicely safe spotting this uh, hellhound. Perfect gold ore. That's cool. Right, I've got the gold ore. Let's go and get a necklace mold and a ring mold. I think I've got two rubies in the bank. And then we can get making on this jewellery. Right, so we've got the necklace mold, the ring mold, two rubies, and all the perfect gold. So in theory, we use the perfect gold on the furnace. Perfect gold bar, yeah, cool. Then we do that again. And then we use the perfect gold bar on there, and we make a ruby ring, which hopefully is called a perfect ruby ring. Yep, nice. Then we do the same again, make the necklace. There we go, we have the two things. Oh my god, we can actually complete Avon's part of the quest, and we still have another brother to find. God, this is going to be hell, if there's anything as hard as this one. How are you doing getting on finding my perfect gold jewellery? Here's the ring and the necklace. Exactly what I was searching for. Please take my crest fragment. I suppose you'll be wanting to find my brother Jonathan. That's correct. Well, the last I heard of my brother Jonathan, he was studying the magical arts and trying to hunt some demon or other out in the wilderness. Unsurprisingly, I do not believe he's doing a good job of things and spends most of his time recovering from injuries in some tavern or other near the edge of the wilderness. Right, that sounds much more straightforward. Some other tavern near the edge of the wilderness has to be the one up here, right? Don't think there's any other pub near it. Has to be here. Let's go. 
Right, Jonathan, are you around here, mate? Please? There's a cook. He'll probably be upstairs in a room if he's recovering. Man, Jonathan, there he is. All right, let's talk to him. Do you happen to be Jonathan Fitzharmon? That I am. I'm here to retrieve your fragment of the Fitzharmon family crest. The poison, it's all too much. My head and not stop spinning. Sweat is pouring down Jonathan's face. What did that spider do to me? I feel so weak, I can hardly think at all. What spider? Family crest. Jonathan's looking very ill at the Jolly Boar Inn. Right, that's not good. I need to find him some sort of antidote, I assume. And there's a spider that seems like it's poisoned him. Uh, that guy doesn't say anything. Is there anything I can search around here that might help me find out what's happened to him? No, it doesn't look like it. Looks like he's been poisoned by a spider. What spider, though, I'm unsure about. Um, I don't know of any spiders around here. There's some in the wilderness, just in the kind of around this area. I mean, let's talk to the cook, maybe? No, okay, cool. What about this guy, the bartender? No. So I guess there's going to have to be some sort of spider in the wilderness somewhere that maybe I have to kill. Do I dare just go into the wilderness with my graceful on? Probably a bad idea. I'm gonna do it. Can't be far from here, right? Like, surely it's just somewhere around here. Or maybe I can talk to the poison salesman in 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 Sears Village because he might have like an antidote or something, or a herbalist. Or I could just use an anti-poison on him. Actually, that makes sense, right? I, I'm looking for some sort of cure, but anti-poison's thing. Let's try and grab an anti-poison, see if I can use that on him. Right, let's use this on him. Hey, there we go. It's completely cured me. How can I reward you? Give me the crest. I've come here for your piece of the Fitzharmon family crest. Unfortunately, I don't have it anymore. In my attempts to slay the fiendish Kronazon, the blood demon, I lost a lot of equipment in our last battle when he bested me and forced me away from his den. He probably still has it now. Where can I find the Kronazon? The fiend has made his lair in the wilderness below the Obelisk of Air. Right, I think I know where that is. Is he hard to defeat? You'd have to be a skilled mage to defeat him. You'll need to hit him once with each of the four elemental spells of death. Oh, interesting, okay. All right, that sounds pretty straightforward, to be honest. That's the 59 magic requirement then, isn't it? Yeah, for Fire Blast. Right, let's go back to the rock and get some gear. Right, so fortunately we have 3,000 death runes just from the cats that we've been uh, growing. Let's clean up this inventory a bit because we don't want to go losing the crest that we have here. Uh, I don't know if we'll need actual mage gear. I mean, I haven't... <laughs> when I say actual mage gear, I mean my blue wizard hat. That is all I've got. I've got anything else? Some monk's robes, I guess. Okay, we'll take that. I don't know if it has a health bar as well or if I just need to do one of each. So I'll take 50 death runes. That should be enough to hopefully kill it. And um, the air obelisk is just here somewhere. Where is it? This thing, right? This is the air obelisk, I'm pretty sure. And apparently it's just south of there, if I remember correctly. Under the air obelisk. Oh, it's under it. So I actually have to go via the Edgeville dungeon, right? Ah, okay, cool. Okay, let's go to Edgeville then. Right, we're in the wieldy. See, that's it, isn't it? The black demon... Oh, is that not it? Maybe it's... Oh, that's the Obelisk of Earth. Let's just pray melee here. Poison sp I've just poked myself in the eye. Ow. Oh, my God. Fucking hell, have I done that? Oh, Jesus Christ, he's here. Um, okay, this looks like him. I think we just need to attack it. I'm already under attack. Oh, get off me. And I have been poisoned through prayer. I didn't realise that could happen. Okay, cool. He's attacking me. This is good. Right. One fire spell. One earth spell. One water spell. One air spell. I don't know if I need to hit him. I think I've done it with all of them now. It says he's weakening every time. But I didn't actually hit with the air spell. I'm going to try it again. I think he's dying. I think this probably works. He's really weak, actually. Considering he's level 170. Damn, he was so easy. Crest pop. Fucking hell, that was easy. Let's get out of here. Right, let's um, scatter those. And I don't know if I need to go and talk to him. I don't think I do. Yeah, I've got it now. I think I could just put the crest together. I need to get an anti-poison quickly, though, because I am dying. Let's grab this crest part, this crest part, and then can we just use them? Yeah, family crest, we've got it. And I think now we just go back to the dude. Doesn't say it in the quest log, weirdly, but I've got it. Can't really see what else to do here. I should get some pretty insane rewards for this, to be honest. I'm literally giving this guy his entire land, his everything he owns in this single crest. I've retrieved your crest. Adventurer, I can only thank you for your kindness, although the words are insufficient to express the gratitude I feel. I know not how I can adequately reward you for your efforts. I mean, give me like a mill. You must be fairly minted. Just give me loads of GP. That would help. I do have these magical gauntlets, a family heirloom that through some power unknown to me have always returned to the head of my family. I will pledge these to you. Okay, cool. Is this the cooking gauntlets? They can also be granted extra powers. Take them to one of my sons. They should be able to imbue it with a skill for you. Nice. One quest point, some steel gauntlets and gauntlet skill imbues. Yeah, I think these are the cooking gauntlets. That's all I got, a pair of gloves. I just gave you your land, your house, you're now back in the Varrochian aristocracy and you've given me a pair of gloves. Like, fair enough, like, they could be magical and stuff, but that's a bit crap, isn't it? Right, that 
Honestly, that would have been a fairly straightforward quest if I didn't walk around the desert for two fucking hours. As always, thank you so much to all those that you can see on screen here who keep the channel going with their support via YouTube memberships. Special thank you to ASDZXC404, This Not Dog, Thior Bjornsson, Jack, Schmauzau, Itchiest Bug, Renak, Jax, Sleek Favs, Patriotic Skull, Josda, Timothy Wisenand, Deluxe Flame, Wineye, Teeters, Master of Reality, and Ice for subscribing to the Quest Helper plugin tier of membership. Thank you all again. Thank you.